Nestled away on a country road in Oconomowoc is a place where Wisconsin wildlife are welcome, where they can recuperate and heal so they can once again be part of Mother Nature's circle of life. They've been saving animals for 30 years and aren't stopping anytime soon. Stephanie Rodriguez has that story. Wisconsin animals have a diverse ecosystem to explore and call home here in the Badger State. But when they can't fend for themselves, the Wildlife and Need Center steps in. We take in about 2,500 to 3,000 animals a year. Our busiest days, we can admit 60 animals. Um, we recently just admitted our 70,000 patient since inception. Since Executive Director Kim Bannock first arrived in 2009 as a volunteer, she's been committed to their rescue operation. It had me at hello. It just spoke to my heart because I love the animals. Founded in 1994, the nonprofit admits all types of critters. We rehabilitate injured, orphan, and sick Wisconsin wildlife, and our goal is to always release them back to the wild. The animals that are brought in need their help to survive. Typically, we would take the animals that are legitimately orphaned or animals that are injured or sick or somehow could not survive on their own for whatever reason. And we're essentially like a vet hospital. Director of Animal Care Lisa Fosco has been rehabilitating animals for 40 years. So we'll see anything from hummingbirds to eagles. For release, the animals must be at 100% to ensure they can endure life in the wild. We can have animals in here from days to over a year, depending on the situation. Those who can't be released become ambassadors, assisting in the educational portion of the center's mission. We travel anywhere from Milwaukee um, to Madison and even like two and a half hours north, delivering education programs, just spreading wildlife wisdom to all ages. It's great that we can fix the animals and put them back out there, but if we don't educate people in the reasons that they came here in the first place, it's kind of a vicious game. They've been able to share their knowledge and save animals for three decades thanks to the help of the community. We are a not-for-profit. We don't get government funding. So we are run 365 days a year on our fundraising efforts. So it's through generous donors. It's through our fundraising events, grants. Each being they help holds a special place in their hearts, but their work is ongoing and they hope to continue for many years to come. I think about imagining a world without the Wildlife and Needs Center, the animals would have no place to go. The injured, orphan, and sick would have no place to go to get the medical care, the hospital care, um, to get food, shelter, to be able to, you know, grow, you know, as an orphan or to heal from their injuries.